Hey, welcome to this week's video. It is Beauty on a Budget Part 2. Last week's video was a full face of drugstore makeup. If you didn't see it, I'll provide a link to it. I chose all NYX makeup because I love the fact that they are vegan and cruelty free. And I also tend to think that their products wear exceptionally well. So I had a really, really good experience with them last week. This week I went back into the drugstore and the focus is hair care. Speaking of hair, you're probably noticing things are just a little bit shorter than they were last week. And I sort of had an epiphany going into summer. It's starting to get really hot here. We had our first 90 degree day. And I thought, you know, I just want something easy and cool and quick to style. And I'm not relying on flat irons and curling irons to create a look. I think my hair was just screaming for a break. It got a break. So I really focused on that when I was choosing some products at the drugstore. Another thing I'm focusing on, since I do color my hair, a lot of you do, uh, sulfate-free, paraben-free, a lot of chemical-free products. And I have really, really seen a change in the quality of product that's coming to the drugstore. They are very, very mindful of the fact that the consumer is looking for clean ingredients. And so I made it a point to also look for things that really fit that bill. Also, some products that I've used through the years that have worked for me. I mean, you, you want something that's going to perform as well. It's got to check off a lot of boxes. So let me talk about the first two products that will go into the shower with me, and then I'll be able to continue the video after that. Starting with the shampoo. This is a new one for me, in fact. It is by Love, Beauty, and Planet. It is the Muramuru Butter and Rose. Blooming color, sulfate-free shampoo. Vibrancy for color-treated hair and acts of love for our planet. So this is going to come into the shower with me. It's going to be my shampoo. I went out of the line for the conditioner because I've used this product before and I think Pantene has really, really come a long way. They've always had great products, but now they're also making products that are sulfate-free and, and getting the chemicals out. So this is Fortifying Damage Repair with Castor Oil. I can say that. Sulfate-free conditioner. Intensely strengthens for resilient hair. Lasting frizz control. No sulfates, parabens, dyes, or mineral oil. So that makes me very, very happy. So these two are coming with me into the shower. We're gonna clean the hair and we're gonna move on from there and do some styling with some different products, some new things that I found, exciting things based on reviews and performance and I cannot wait to get to that part. So just hold that thought. Wand waved, we're back. Couple of notes, that shampoo smelled incredible and the conditioner made my hair feel silky smooth. So, so far so good. Okay, now we're going to move on to some styling products and this is where our needs may vary if you followed me for any length of time you know that i battle frizz and i need heat protection and something that's going to keep my hair silky smooth i'm in a humid climate i have naturally curly kinky hair so tame in the mane is priority number one for me the product that i went for is something that i have used before and that is john frieda Frizz Ease Straight Fixation Styling Cream. It smooths hair for straight styles that last all day. 24 hours, it's a heat protectant. And in this case, you just take a little bit and you apply to damp hair. And since I don't have a lot, I'm not using a lot, but my main areas that frizz tend to be right along the hairline here. So I'm gonna concentrate more of the product there and then work my way through. If your issue is fine hair or you need volume, I can't tell you how many amazing products that I passed by in the aisle that offered volume and texture and fullness and all of that. So I can tell you this, you will find what you need at the drugstore. I didn't wanna use anything that I had in the house. I found two brushes, one of which is going to be a volumizing brush. Looks like so, and it's by GSQ by Glam Squad, ceramic thermal brush, 
extra extra more volume more style creates curls and loose natural looking waves adds lift and volume again you don't necessarily have to get it in a product you'd be amazed at how much the right brush can impact how your hair moves and styles it heats up and this is the one that i'm going to use to get some root lift toward the back now as you know i also need a brush that offers some smoothing and i went with the very same line again this is gsq by glam squad ceramic dual bristle brush smooth operator smooth and shine mixed bristles distribute oil from your roots adding shine for a smooth no frizz finish wham bam thank you ma'am so between these two i'm going to get lift and i'm going to get smoothness and i'm going to do it with a brand new hair dryer Yes, I had to purchase one from the drugstore as well. So I can't use my Elchum that I love. I did some research and I found this. This is by Conair, Infinity Pro. Professional AC motor reduces drying time, boosts volume, dries hair fast with three times longer life, ceramic technology for quick and gentle drying, and ionic technology for shiny looking hair and less frizz. 1875 watts. Those are my tools of choice and I'm gonna get in there Low dryer looks like so. We color coordinated. It's <laughs> seriously unintentional. And it's got three different heat settings and it has a cool shot as well. Let's get to it. By the way, you kind of get a blowout tutorial at the same time, right? Short hair, lots of texture. I just move it from side to side to get some lift. All right, now I'm gonna go in with that round brush and I want some lift at the crown, so that's where I'm gonna focus right now. Now for the part where I need to smooth things out, I'm switching brushes and I'm going on the top part of my head. Okay. I gotta say, I feel like I got some pretty good volume after using this ceramic brush. It gave me that lift that I was looking for at the crown, and this one really flattened and smoothed things out, which is how I like. Now comes setting. Set it and forget it. And how are we gonna do that? Well, I found a pomade that I think, I've never tried it before. It's by Garnier Fructis Style Pure Clean Finishing Paste, Extra Strong Hold number three. It's a good moderate hold, but it's really used to kind of piece out the hair. If you've got hair that has a lot of layers like mine and it's kind of choppy and you wanna get those individual layers out, something like this will be good to use. So I'm gonna just experiment with a little bit, kind of warm it between the palm of my hands and lift and kind of go for it, see what I get. Oh, and it adds a good deal amount of shine too. That's nice. You know, I just take it and kind of scrunch and, you know, twist some hairs together, pull them through. Yeah, so maybe go back on that side, grab a hold of the bottom ones in the back, kind of piece those out. Check the back, turn around so you can see. I am gonna finish things off with a hairspray that has rave reviews. This one's by L'Oreal, it's Elnet Satin extra strong and it's for color treated hair. Disappears at the stroke of a brush, which I absolutely love, a brushable hairspray. So, you know, if I can, if I can get Whoop, there it is. If I can get a little bit of hold and I know at the end of the day, all I need is a brush to get rid of it, then I am super, super happy with that. Okay, hair looks good, looks healthy. It's got some shine to it, smooth, no frizz.
and I saved myself a lot of money. What I did buy that I haven't used yet is something that I will use in a couple of days because I don't like to wash my hair often. And especially when it gets short, that gets tricky because the oil starts coming down the hair and, and there's not as much hair. This is Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo and Toasted Coconut. I sprayed it and it smells so yummy, but it's wonderful because it's a texturizer as a day or two goes by. And if there's too much product or too much oil accumulating, you just spray it on the root, you shake it, and you instantly have that lift again and you have that texture texture because it has absorbed the oil. And this product has gotten just incredible reviews. And there are a myriad of different types. They've got volumizing, texturizing, whatever your needs are. So look into Not Your Mother's product line. But this is great. This did not cost much at all. I will have the entire product list in the description portion of the video, which will include the price. I bought all of these at my local drugstore, hair dryer included. I personally love my Elchem hair dryer. You know, I'm going back to it, but the kids, they needed a hair dryer. The boys did. They're always coming in my bathroom stealing my dryer. Um, I have more budget-friendly videos coming your way. Like I said, this is a series. I am mindful of price point. I think you can get the job done in the beauty department without having to spend a fortune. So we are highlighting those. Any ideas that you have for me, send them my way. Leave them in the description portion below. Subscribe. Where'd my light go? Where'd my light go? I need my light. <gasps> Subscribe to this channel, please. I'd love to have you a part of it. Subscribing doesn't cost a thing. It just means you get notified when I release a video, which is every Thursday at one o'clock. I am always on social media, of course. So you can find me there between the videos that come out every Thursday. With your um, bold and fun and inexpensive hair that nobody will know the difference, go out, be bold and be blessed, and I'll see you next week. Bye.